What's up, my beautiful people? This is Mviri Baby, the storyteller. And you're tuned into the source with King B, a capital FM. Karibu sana. So we're just going to get right to the new album. And I'm so excited for the new body of work. Kitenge really slapped. It's, I was just telling your manager, it's one of my favorite bodies of works by Kenyan artists in the last couple of years. So I know if anything, if you set the standard with Kitenge. So how do you think this new project is going to differ from Kitenge or any other project you've ever done? Um, the best part about this uh, new project is uh, if you know the storyteller, we've always had a new sound and yeah. a new new kind of uh, new uh, vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Let me use the word vibe. Mm -hmm. So the album is full of that and it's just a combination of what I've always been mm -hmm. and all and uh, put together into the new streaming friendly music. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how many tracks are on the album and how many collaborations do you have on the album as well? Well, uh, tracks, we have uh, we have 15 tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, the first number one is called The Intro, which is uh, Mama. Okay. Last one is Message, which mm -hmm. is the outro. Mm -hmm. uh, collaborations in the track, we have uh, five collaborations. Mana bad man, you know Half day, half day, half day, you know Yeah, yeah. And do you want to tell us who's on the album? Do you want to tell us who those collaborators are? Yeah, definitely. I, 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 I definitely have to tell you that. Yeah. Because uh, it's quite an achievement on my end. Yeah. I have a uh, BN and Benso. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a uh, Chike from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I have Tommy from Canada. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, Bayani. Mm -hmm. Bayani is also from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. We have a uh, Tommy from Canada. Mm -hmm. I've already said Tommy. No, we have now uh, from Rwanda is yeah. King Kivumbi. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, to Napiga Worldwide, yeah. we just are making sure we make music for all the new audience yeah. out there. Yeah. And how long did it take you to record this album and how was the recording process like for you? How long did it take you and how was the process of recording it? Yeah, it, it took quite a while. I started recording it for, uh, in Dar es Salaam. This was around last year. And uh, from there we recorded it uh, just traveling around. Part of it was recorded in South Africa. Then mm -hmm. the rest we did a writing camp here. Yeah. And the whole process was uh, quite an experience because uh, we took our time to travel around and explore working with different DJs, different artists and creatives. So it's just a collective of um, different energies and sounds yeah. from all around. That's why you'll see a lot of new uh, sound and melodies to it. Yeah. Uh, when you get to it from, I've already released uh, Inside Out and Nikilewa. And so far, you can hear the response. Yeah. It's quite a new sound of them. Yes. Yeah. And your brand, as Nviri, strikes me. It's actually not the way it strikes me. You say it like that. Your Buana Sherehe. So your music has a party theme kind of. Um, it's very party themed for the better part. Um, can we expect the same on the album? Are we going to get a lot of party tracks? Are we going to get a lot of Pombe Cigara kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now, surprise, surprise, and I'm telling you, yeah. uh, it's a collection of different vibes. Yeah. We have the first phase, I actually posted it on my Instagram, the first phase, mm. which is the Sherehe bit. Yeah. The second phase mm. is the conscience side, you know, like uh, I did sounds like Lesotho, uh, talking about just, I love you know, Lesotho. Mm. And uh, now we have uh, the sad and the love song. Yeah, yeah, yeah bit of it yeah. uh, now that's the kitenge season the nikosawa season yeah, yeah, yeah. so i've just combined the different sides of the storyteller like my different faces mm. into one album yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. just very yeah. <laughs> you're too many things and what would you say was the hardest part uh what is the most challenging part while working on the album what challenged you the most well timelines <laughs> the fact that you're working with different people everyone works at their own pace yeah, yeah. and uh also when it comes to deliverables, mm -hmm. uh, everyone kind of has their own input in it. Yeah. You know, just being able to converge all those things into one mm -hmm. became quite an issue. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, you definitely have to struggle here and there to get the good result out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't expect it to come that yeah, easy. Yeah. And we're also not taking it that easy. No matter say we're just still kicking ass. Yes. Yeah. And what would you hope that the album achieves? What do you want people to take away from the album? What message do you want to put out there? Like you've said, you've um, divided it into three parts. What do you want people to take? Do you want people to get the three facets on B? And what are, what other things would you want people to take away from the album? Well, um, 
the main agenda here. We've been crying for global artists from East Africa. Yeah. Well, I got you one through this album. You know, here it is. And uh, I've done my best in the album. Now it's up to you guys now to pick it up yeah. and continue. And, yeah. I mean, we've put everything needed. Uh, I yeah. believe we've done our experiments and uh, put it to good use. And now here we have our baby that is ready. Mm-hmm. And uh, use it just to sit back, enjoy the music, and uh, give it the love that it deserves. Yeah, and take away what you want to take away yeah. from it. And now, speaking of the collaborators, what is your criteria to select who you want to work with? Because I know there's a wide range of people you could work with, but you sat down and chose you. I want to work with Bentol, I want to work with BN, I want to work with um, Chike. What, what is your exact criteria to choose, uh, or rather to select who you want to work with or who you want to collaborate with? Well, I. I made a public announcement that I'm doing my album. All you guys who want to work with the storyteller, reach out. Yeah. And they all ra- came running. You know, these guys were filling my DMs. Yeah. And, uh, you know. But you had to narrow it down to a yeah, few people. Yeah, so, no, what? These, these, are, these are the guys, uh, like Bien and Bensol, they paid me. So I decided, okay, you guys. <laughs> but uh, to, in easy terms, uh, it's just, um, these have been collaborations that I've been planning for a while. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it is not the only collaborations we have, we have a lot more. Yeah. But also, this is what uh, made a good fit for the album mm-hmm. at this po- current position. Mm-hmm. And uh, since we see, I was selling the three faces of the storyteller, you have to see who brings out each area. Yeah, yeah. Each, each, each yeah. Each yeah. Each yeah. Each yeah. My sad song, my R&B, we go all in. Yeah, so we there's a, Yeah, there's a song in the album called Badilika. Your name is It's like Nico <laughs> Yes, like Nico so Sour. It's like Nico Sour. Oh. And also, the one is Chica is another R&B song yeah. Yeah, in the slab. Yeah. yeah, you know. I was just saying to your manager earlier um, that you and Ben Sol and a few other people from Sol, uh, oh, pretty much almost everybody at Sol, Generation is a writer. And I feel that writers right artists who really write their music kind of have authenticity i can feel authenticity in your music because you're not just getting throwaway tracks by people who yeah. think you that's a good song for me so do you think you being a writer contributes a lot to music appealing to people and music um you know striking people's heart chords and all that um i i think it all comes down to also your personality mm-hmm. yeah who you are and if you in the, how you see the world, the lenses you use to see the world, and how you can translate that now into something relatable to other people. So uh, I believe everyone can write. Yeah, to appeal to a very specific audience, you have to write in a specific way, but also not forgetting who you are and the kind of message you're passing. And we've been, and also it's just practice. We've been doing this for a minute. We've yeah. been writing music for a while. Yeah. So it's just like any other work. You just put in work day in day, day, in, day out, and you become better. Yeah, and you have writing credits on Brana Boy's album yeah. uh, as well as Ben Sol. Which other artists would you want to write for other than the ones you've already written for? I know you've written for Saudi Soul, you've written for BN, you've written for pretty much many other people in the country, and I believe in outside. But which other person have you not worked with yet, but you'd love to work with? You'd kill to work with and write for. Well, I've always worked, wanted to work with someone like either Chris Brown and mm-hmm. Ed Sheeran because of their writing and style. Yeah. Other than that, I've, I've not really thought about myself being a writer for people. Well, Me, I I'm really it. enjoying my music <laughs> and I'm enjoying where I am right now. Yeah. But well, when need be, because mm-hmm. we have a lot of guys who reach out mm-hmm. to get songwriters. We've got into a world where songwriting is such a good business and guys out from outside, they Kunasani now, where they've reached in the artistry, they don't really need to go down, write a whole song, mm-hmm do the production uh, yeah. they just pay people you get writers yeah. they sit down you take them through the music they record it and it's a hit yeah yeah so there's that industry booming also mm-hmm. if that need arises mm-hmm. i'll be there yeah. but until then yeah. Yeah. Kutu sour. <laughs> Kutu siba, sour. Siba gui, man. <laughs> even if you want me to write punjabi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh now of the album will come um the album is here mm-hmm. Uh, what next for Nviri after the album drops? Uh, what next for you? What do people expect from Nviri? Uh, what can we expect from you? Do we do we expect you to do? We, can we expect to see you in other? Let's say, can we expect to see Nviri in a movie? Can we expect to Nviri to headline his own show at Kasarani or some place? I'm glad you say that. You see, we are for sour. See, now you've you've made me go now to the next phase of this whole thing. During the album, we're going to do our own launch, and this will be our first of July. I'll be curating my own gig and I am hoping this will be like an annual event yeah. and at some point we'll also be featuring Ben Sol and other artists. Um, other than that, we'll have an, 
deluxe from uh, apart from the album will have a deluxe because there's a new sound I want to introduce to you guys. Yeah. I love you yeah, we we have a lot of jams out yes. here. Like I told you, if you want to give you three albums, then that okay. Yeah. The best way is just to make sure we give it a platform that you can have them back to back. And uh, with the gigs, I've already given you the 9th of June yes. is when the full album drops. First of July, we have our first uh, gig, and it will be held at the Junction Upper. Mm-hmm. Make sure you get. The, I will get be rolling out the poster and details soon. Soon, and you guys yeah. are the first ones to yes, get these details. The first no one else knows about it. <laughs> yes. We had not announced, it, but yeah. tada! <laughs> yeah, great. Um, Ben Soul's album, as we wind up, just dropped the other day. Um, and I know you guys are super close. You've worked together countless times. Um, how does Ben Soul, being your brother and your peer, um, inspire you musically? Well, uh, we've always believed in each other's writing and potential. So, um. Just going through his body of work and how he expresses himself always is an inspiration. You, know? you, you always need music, am my energy around you that that tap, uh, helps you tap into a similar thing. You know, Nikita ko kuingia share na juu na enda abi. Nikita ko feel even na juu na enda abi. So all in all, and also musical wise, he's contributed to the album in terms of writing and also production. Yeah. So he hands on is there. Mm. Great parting shot to your fans. And what do you them, what do you tell them? To, how do you tell them to take the album? What do you tell? I know you've said you want people to take away whether they want to take um, away from the album when it drops. But what's your parting shot to them? Um, once again, we're beautiful people. This is Vivi, the storyteller, Universal Charger singer songwriter. Buona sherehe, buona kitenge, gani gani, buona nikosawa. Striker number nine. Once again, um, the album is already out. We've put in a lot of work. And uh, it's very streaming friendly, and we are appealing to every face of emotion, whether you're sad, or happy, I'm a gonna more pull up my soul more And uh, let's go share more love out there. And uh, we've been crying for good music. Don't worry, I've been selling my album. I also have my album. Other people are pulling up with their new albums also. Stop and Nikon Nikon Maruma Sapa Inches when your album is out of peers and I But for now, yeah, you have Inside Out. Check it out. And now, I'm not just